News OK's Press Row with the Oklahomans Barry Trammell and Jenny Carlson is powered by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. I'm Barry Trammell, and I say this playoff series for the Thunder against the Nuggets has given Oklahoma City a new rival. I'm Mike Sherman, and I'm wondering if four zip sweep for the Thunder wouldn't damage that rivalry before it got started. Hi, you're watching the Press Row, sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts, and we're talking about what will be the legacy of the Denver Nuggets Oklahoma City Thunder opening series. Bear, you say a rivalry is born. Well, I think this is where NBA rivalries are formed, is in the playoffs. Uh, geography, uh, not so much. I mean, look at New York, Miami uh, in the NBA in the 90s. That was, uh, you know, those, those guys don't share a border. But uh, here in Oklahoma City and Denver, you play a bunch of games in a short amount of time, especially when you get some hostilities going with, uh, you know, Nene and Kendrick Perkins going at it and George Carl uh, calling the uh, Thunder cocky. And a lot of things get brewed in. I think this is the start of a rivalry for the, uh, for the Thunder. Now, obviously some people down the road could, uh, could supersede if Dallas or San Antonio or the Lakers again await uh, the Thunder. Uh, Denver's not going to be at the top of the list. But this is where NBA rivalries are made. And I think this is the start of something that could, uh, that could be uh, quite a good rivalry in the NBA. Barry, what I think is this. A rivalry needs to be reciprocal. And the Nuggets just aren't putting much, up much of a fight. I mean, a couple of these games have been really close. Two of the three have been really close. There's been some the fireworks, verbal mostly. Uh, it did start in a promising way to get uh, emotions up, to get bad blood between all ball clubs, is the way Earl Weaver used to say. When George Carl throws his buddy, uh, Scott Brooks, under the bus and says he's cocky, you think we might have something here. But it's 3-0. We sit here talking about this on Monday afternoon. Game four is uh, Monday night. Could be a sweep. I think the Nuggets would have to put up a competitive fight to make it a rivalry. I haven't seen it yet. Well, I mean, I, you're right. The sweep is, uh, is going to hurt the dramatics. It's going to hurt the script. Uh, but the fact that we, this isn't just a, uh, a lay-down series, we have had some, some good, even before the, uh, before the series, the Nene and the Kendrick Perkins going at it, and George Curl sort of uh, uh, putting his thumb in the stew. I think this, is a, uh, this could be the budding, uh, uh, a budding rivalry, and also for this reason, uh, even the Denver media is helping stoke it. Mark Kisler, the Denver Post, had some uncomplimentary things to say about the Thunder. Uh, so I think, uh, I think those are the uh, sort of the building blocks of a, of a rivalry. Now, if they go five years without playing in the playoffs, no. But next year, if they should meet again, and plus, remember this, we're, uh, we're border states. I mean, we share, uh, we share state line. Now, it's about 20 miles of gravel road up there in the Panhandle, but it's still it's a it's a uh, it's a border for Oklahoma. So I think uh, I think this could develop into a rivalry, and I think the Nuggets are going to stay good. I don't know that they're going to be championship contention any time in the next five years, but I think they will stay competitive. They will stay good. I think it's a team the Thunder could meet uh, on a regular basis in the postseason. I think we'd have a much better uh, opportunity if Mark Kisla played. For the Nuggets rather than wrote about them. I think him, him calling Kendrick Perkins a cheater, I think him saying the Thunder's a fraud, I think if he insulted our columnists we might have a good rivalry between newspapers. But the fact that he insulted the, the Thunder, the fact that he's talking about them being a bunch of whiners uh, for getting technical fouls on a team that, you know, set the curve, uh, or at least used to, for technical fouls. If that's what we're building this rivalry on, we better look elsewhere. Maybe there's a throwdown between Nene and Kendrick Perkins. Again, I think that's the thin thread that hopes for a rivalry will depend on. Better start looking for the next round. That's all for this edition of the Press Row, but you can stay with the best coverage team anywhere, every day at News OK, and every morning in the Oklahoma.